I have returned. So I stopped my stream for nothing. And now I feel annoyed and further feel like shit. So I'm gonna play a game that makes me happy that no one wants to watch. Um, all of these suck. Gonna have to go with the random boss relic. Ah, uh, no. So, I gain one mana at the start of my turn, but future card rewards have two less cards to draw from. So, I'm starting with a huge advantage for this floor. A huge advantage, starting with four mana. But, I don't heal as I normally would, and I don't get as many cards to choose from. Uh, so, every time you go up in Ascension mode, it becomes slightly more difficult. Now, for me, the bosses are harder. So, I need to go for Elites. Unfortunately, I can only do three. So, I'm going to avoid the harder one. I, I don't think doing the harder one gets you a better Relic. Um, going this way is less question marks. Actually, I can go one question mark, two question mark, boss, rest, Yamato. boss, then here, rest, and yeah. So I don't, I don't get a shop unless I get it from question mark, but I guess I'll get a fat shop next time. I guess I'll go here and up. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'll not go this way, I don't think. Okay. Um I turn on alerts. Hell yeah. I should have just hit him, I don't know I don't know why I did that. Not that it really matters. Well I may as well take shockwave, considering how Few cars I'm getting access to. Find a relic, find a relic, find a relic. Every three turns gain an energy. I'm getting a lot of energy. Their damage is actually more impactful than normal. Because I don't have the heal. I sincerely, sincerely doubt that this run is going to go well. One year down, 99 to go. Thank you, Ram. Hope you're doing good. Appreciate kind words right now. Bloodletting isn't terrible. It's probably not very useful right now, though. Shouldn't have taken it. Upgrade two random cards. I think I should just die. Honestly. Yeah, let me just die. Oh, wait a second. If you don't get to the boss... If you don't get to the first boss, you don't start with the relic, do you? Okay, well, we'll get to the first boss and die. Or did they remove that? Does anyone know? I suppose not. Hell yeah. Seven months with one of the most interesting content creator. Thanks, man. I mean, it's, I guess it's pointless. I can't really win. Abandon run. Let's see if it's. Let's see if I start with a relic. Yeah, two years since pass for started. Oh no! Okay, never mind. So I still get this. That's good. Okay. Wait, is this what you get if you don't confront the first boss? Well, I prefer to have this. In, eh, kind of. Okay. Um, I can maybe get to a boss here while having this active. It makes everyone, uh, for the first three fights, everyone has one HP. There are a lot of elites on the left. Going for elites just always seems dumb. 
It seems good in the lower, le uh, like, uh, lower ascensions, but in this one, not really. So... The path on the right sucks, too. It sucks. I wish I was playing Heroes of Might and Magic. Um, I'm just going to go up on the right and see if I can get to this dude and get a free elite. If I don't, I will be sad. You might buy this game. It's a good game. Cleave is good. Cleave does what you might expect it to, given its name. It cleaves things. Nah, I uninstalled it. Uh, I guess I'm going into Heavy Blade again. There are just some strategies that are superior. Upgrade two random cards. Nice. I'm the same guy that said you're making him happy during a time his kitten was dying and unfortunately the kitten did not make it. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. I, um... I know what to say, but... Sorry if you're lost and thank you for $5. I, uh... I've lost a pet in my life and it was devastating and uh, I know some of what you're going, going through and I wish you happy your time's ahead. Sorry, dude. I do not want this curse. Taking it anyway. Good news though, I get a free elite. Happy day. Hi. Hi. Probably should up upgrade a cleave, but yep, free elite. Hell yeah. Instant. Every six turns, gain one intangible? That's sick. Every six turns, I become immune to damage. I mean, six turns is a lot, though. But that could certainly uh, save me at some point completely. And I get a lot of these upgrades, too. This runners are decent stuff. Ori Calcum is good, too. Uh, six block if I end a turn without block. Spending a block potion for a relic is really goddamn cheap. Yeah. Ah, uh, do food. I mean, I don't like having curses in my deck. I'm always guaranteed to have one. This is basically one strength kind of thing. Um, so there's no point using defend because it would block Ori Calcum. Ah. Uh. What should you order from Maccas? Nothing. I know the feeling. Yeah. Heavy blade this bitch. It's so tasty, it's not though, it's garbage. Using block is still pointless. You order the fish burger? Is that actually a thing? I never see anyone getting it. Okay. Um, letting all these turns elapse for I incense burner, which is a smart move. And removing doubt early is good. I'm going to have no way to remove weakness from my deck. That sucks. There were protests down in Sydney. First time hearing of it. Then again, it's not like I follow stuff. Um, damn, I'm going to get weakened. No. So I'm just doing max damage, I suppose, because Ori Kalkum's reducing damage. So next turn, I'll be immune to damage. Which is basically pointless. Protest to support Palestine? Yeah, possibly. Shuriken, every time you play three attacks in one turn, gain one strength. That is good. Flame Barrier is good. Reaper is good too, though. Reaper was so cool last time. Like, is just stack strength and use Reaper and you heal. I'm going to take Reaper. 
I shouldn't, but I will. You can't tell me what to do, Dad. The letter E is better? Is it now? Use some kind of arbiter of letters now? I'm trying to think of something that I couldn't do that would make me happy. Upgrading Reap is so unimportant. Uh, I do not need to sleep here. I can definitely take this boss without sleep. Guess I'll upgrade it anyway. Well, it's gonna be hard if I start with shitty cards. Yeah, he is sad. Yo. Do I heavy blade or do I bash? I, I think I I think I bash. Cause it improves the other the next set of cards. Hopefully this is enough damage. Sixteen plus twelve plus twelve. It's forty. That's enough. Or I can bash again. No no no. Just barely enough. Increases my strength over Shuriken. So, I'm weakened right now, but I'm intangible, which is nice. Why is he only doing one damage? Oh, because I'm intangible, of course. <laughs> I'm intangible, why, why is he? <laughs> uh, hopefully I can get some big damage here to kill this guy next turn. So I got Reaper, which I could save until they split. Ah, uh, nah. Saving it until they split is greedy. Or, I mean, like, you know, ah, uh, mm, no. Nah. Okay. Nah, don't save. It's make it, make it, delay me from getting cleave. So I can split this again. Oh, I can just kill one. Kill one makes cleave weaker. That would do this. Because it's this small, like Cleave will kill that immediately. Cleave. Dead. 1 HP. Why have I stopped playing Bully? I've, I haven't been feeling very well for quite a while. And uh, it's been hard to have any energy. And so I, uh, I put it on hold because I need to be entertaining while playing it. Um, but things haven't really gotten better for me. I've just uh, gotten a bit of a spiral over the last couple of weeks, and recent events have not helped. Um, it's um, unfortunate. As I say to myself in these hard times, in the future, you know, I'll look back on this and it'll just be a blip in my life. Philosopher's Stone is good. All enemies start with one strength. It can be pretty bad, but uh, one energy is definitely worth it. Travis everyone, honestly, I am tempted to go back to speedrunning, but... Go get yourself no. something nice. It, it is it's seven dollars. Hey, Smile, I'm at work, still feel like ass. What's up? I know the feeling, dude. What's up? Uh, you know, bad things, but... Life soldiers on. Thank you for seven dollars, and I hope work... Uh, turns a bit better for you, man. I think I'm strong enough that I'm gonna take on these elites. This path has a lot of question marks, an early shop, and uh, three elites on it. I think it's good. Well, it's, it's not great. But this map can be pretty fucking brutal when it comes to the elites. So just do what damage I can, I suppose. Like He's got artifacts, so I can't uh, make him vulnerable. I'm intangible. Oh, it's it's every six turns, even between fights. Okay, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Making a prediction, intangibility is gonna save me in a fight and keep me in the game. 
Combust is really good. Combust combined with the one where you take damage and uh, get one strength is really good. Um, Whirlwind is good. Pen nib is good. So I want to remove a card. I need to remove the curse. But then I can't get Blood Vial and Pen Nib. So I could get Whirlwind, Pen Nib, Card Removal. I don't know what you mean, Farm, farm Free. What do you mean? Oh, I was, uh, I saw, uh, I think I answered that person, then I saw your comment. Oh, no, 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 you was a bully question, I see, my bad, my bad, gotcha. Um, well, I need pen nib. Removing a card is better. And that gives me free reign to buy Whirlwind or Flash of Steel. Flash of Steel is useful because it helps with pen nib. But Whirlwind is just a really good card. Yeah, I get Whirlwind. Why don't you go get, get yourself, yourself something nice? It's, it's it's seven dollars. I'm still on season three of Chaos. Thank you, Asriel, for the seven dollars. Uh, I saw you before in chat, and uh, thank you for watching it. And I, I, I'm happy you like it to that degree. And uh, I like making it, and hopefully I can make some more. Thank you, dude. Receive three apparition, lose three, 38 max HP, no. Those things make you immune to damage for a turn, but um, there's a lot of stuff with it. It's not good. Remove all strikes. Receive five bites. This is actually really good. The loss to max HP though can be really brutal. Ah. Uh... No, I want to remove my strikes, not get more. No. Obtain a relic, 100% become cursed. Well, I have a good curse. Like, I, I vo do Voodoo and this curse doesn't do anything to me. Whenever you add an attack to your hand, uh, whenever you add an attack to your deck, upgrade it. That's pretty good. So... I need to upgrade Whirlwind, definitely. Play GTA 5, please. Uh, I would love to, but I, I can't right now. Please give me Whirlwind one time. No. Where's the Whirlwind? I think just escaping from this fight is my best bet. Like, the hand I started with is terrible. Nothing about this is good. I'd probably win the fight, but I'd uh, sacrifice so much health. Level combust. Uh, if you type exclamation mark GTA 5 time, it comes up. Whenever you enter a shop, heal 15. Would like that a lot earlier than now. Okay, so we upgrade offering. So I've upgraded basically everything. And now I have a choice to do two bosses or one. <sighs> I'll go greedy. I'll go two bosses. Can we start a lot stronger here? Combust is still the best option here. And Whirlwind does more damage. I really should just be working on um, facts and glitches and stuff, but... So may as well heal myself. Increase strength, okay. Yeah, I deleted the VOD. Um, but it's okay. Nothing was missed out anyway. Headbutt would be nice, but it just clogs the deck. So I have a... I can choose a card from my 
discard pile and bring it back. Oh, this is a terrible opening. This opening sucks. Oh, well, I have intangibility. See, I told you, chat, intangibility would end up just saving my ass. Completely unexpectedly. I have pinned him next. So I need whirlwind. Whirlwind one time. One time whirlwind. Whirlwind. Sweet. But Reaper. No, but Reaper does nothing, because I'm already full HP. <laughs> game costs, uh... Oh, Merchant's cheap, cool. I would love these early in the game. It's like 25 bucks, I think. 20, 25 bucks. I still haven't got the card that I want, which is the power that gives me one strength every time I take damage. Oh, this sucks. I mean, Decay is not the worst curse for me, except I don't have great draw. It means I will start with three strength now. And three strength can make all the difference. Here we go. This is a good start. This is the same fight as before, but a better start. But then again, the reason why it's a better start is because... Uh, in the other fight... Um, in the other fight, it was a boosted fight. So, I can either do Whirlwind or increase my strength with Shuriken. And I'm going to increase my strength with Shuriken. So, one, two, three... No, I, I think I think I was perfectly reasonable and uh, and fine. Um, it's just reading that hate. So I, 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 I talked about it before. Re reading that hate thread um, multiple times while being a content creator, it dawns on you that the overwhelming vast majority of people who engage with your content only get engaged with it to a um, to a small degree in that um, you think people are sick of this because they've seen it so much or you've, you you think they're sick of you talking about this because you've mentioned it so many times or um, you think people think you're a jerk because you did X, Y, and Z, but the overwhelming vast majority of people have never seen any of that shit. Um, for better or worse, most people only see a tiny finite of what you uh, matter what you do. So you have people who have a much uh, much more positive opinion of you than you likely deserve because all they've seen is the positive. And you have people who um, have a much more negative opinion of you because they're all they've seen is the negative. And, and this is being charitable because in many cases what they've seen is a mere distortion of what has actually gone on. Um, Chinese whispers um, through various different channels. Um, and so reading that hate thread, I'm like, these people have no fucking idea who I am. They have no idea what I've done. They have no idea why I've done the things I have. And reading it is just, in a way, funny, but also sad. Um, and you can't feel offended because they aren't really talking about you. But at the same time, it's frustrating. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, nothing in there is correct. Like, I, I, I could make a video and explain all of it, but none of them would appreciate that. And all it would do is just draw attention to more false claims. Um, oh, just something on live stream fail. It's, um, to bring it up and now people will look it up and, uh, it's just worse. Um, you shouldn't mention it. It's, but it's, uh, mo like, for a long time, my response to, uh, situations where I, I, that I find interesting, I talk about it. And in this case, is not my best interest to talk about it. Have you ever considered playing Phasmophobia VR Edition? The amount of money I'm donating is enough to cover the cost, by the way. <laughs> no. Uh, maybe I'll get back to VR games one day. But it never really appealed to me. I don't like being scared. But thank you, Asriel. Thank you for support. Um, Juggernaut is good just because I have Ori Calcum. But, but it's not that great. Um, that clogs up my deck a bit. No, I don't think I'm going to take it. It can synergize with future stuff, but... Mm, it's, it's, uh, and it is a power. I'll take it. Especially because I need something to upgrade. It might be a vibe too. I, I still don't think it'll probably be better than um What's his face? 
Valve Index. So I've got Pin Nib right now. I need a good attacking card. Well, this sucks. Um. None of these are good. I guess I'll save Pendant for next turn. He summons minions. Hopefully I get... Ah, oh, I didn't get it. I really wanted... Uh, Whirlwind here. But I'm intangible, so I guess... I'll take this opportunity to do extra damage. So I can bash... And then Heavy Blade, or just Heavy Blade. I guess Heavy Blade makes more sense. So next turn I'll get Whirlwind and... Uh, carve these dudes. Fucking incense burner just carrying me right now. I still didn't get I still didn't get it, god damn it. Um guess I should do a bit more damage then. At least he's not attacking again. Is is this his debuff on me? Oh no, he's buffing himself, okay. So offering. He he gave himself a bunch of armor. Ah. Uh, he should be debuffing me now. But he should have to summon his minions next turn, so I should be okay. Yeah. He's st yeah, he's got the debuff on him as well. And I got pendant. Yeah, this is this is easy. Oops. <laughs> I could have I could have got a bit of heal there, but it doesn't matter. <sighs> double tap is so good. Like so, double tap just carries. I have to use double tap. As much as I want feed, I, I have to take double tap. Gain energy at the start of your turn. You can no longer rest at rest sites. I did okay once already, unfortunately. Oh, um, uh, the lower levels are a lot easier. It, it's, it's not that hard of a thing. It's, it's fine. So... Removing cards is fine. I don't think I can get through this final level without resting at all. I do have Incense Burner, Ori Calcum. I, I do heal at shops. Yeah. I'm gonna take this. It's risky, but I'm gonna oh, take it. Yeah. Champ. So I need to aim for shops, because I heal when I go to shops. I can only get one shop. Yikes. Uh, I need to avoid... Elites. This is a pretty smooth path this way up here. Ah, uh, there's a shop actually I should go over, to, over here. So I go here, like around here, through here, down here, down here, um, through here. So I'm doing two fights, another fight, and an elite, and that's about it. So it should be okay. What are my thoughts about Twitch adjusting sub prices? Oh, sorry, just uh, give me one second here. Um, is it worth juggernauting? Nah, I don't think it is. So, um, actually I should be preserving my HP as much as possible because I can't heal, but... I do heal after fights though. Um... Fire Breath is actually fairly decent now. It's not that nice. Nah, um, so they're doing it so it's different regions will pay like the equivalent of the cost from other countries. So like five dollars US, what is the buying power of that in Turkey? It might be two dollars. I don't know. Um, that seems perfectly reasonable for me. They, they've been doing this kind of thing for games and products in general, you know. Stuff that uh, 
doesn't have a manufacturing cost, but you're trying to recoup the losses of uh, from your development. If I use Whirlwind, I will lose a damn hell lot of uh, health. Yeah, I need Juggernaut. Um, so I want Juggernaut to hit him. Nice. Cool. Okay. It seems perfectly reasonable to me. Um, it sucks, though, when they... They did regional pricing for Australia, and they just upped the cost. <laughs> um, I was like, ah, thanks. So I can kill him in one hit here, but I take 11 damage. It's unfortunate. Uh, none of that's useful. Because, like, it used to be cheaper. If I have meta, because I got Coffee Dripper and uh, uh, Philosopher's Stone. Coffee Dripper being the biggest problem here because I can't rest anymore. So this is the kind of thing that I should skip because I can't rest. But I do have Flex Potion. I'm going to go for it. This is, this is really greedy. Really greedy. So this is 80 damage. It's not enough. Guess I'm just sacrificing a fuck ton of HP here. Like under normal circumstances, okay, wing boots is actually not bad because I can avoid some bad fights. Um, burning pact is not terrible just because of. Um, uh, I, I'm starting with five mana, but it's not great either. I think I do need a second draw though, and I can get rid of the curses. Yeah, ah, uh, so that's a that's a really sketchy pick that one. Um, I can get a curse. An innate curse, which gives me one more strength. Heals me for 15. My opening hand is going to be really weak, though. Really weak. Fuck it. So I have walkabout shoes, so I can avoid fights now. I don't know what they call it. Like, wing boots, whatever. I call them... <laughs> so we'll skip this fight here. Ooh, a chest. Meat on the bone. This is perfect. Considering I have no heals. That's a really good find. So, Smith double tap. So I can go to another rest site, but for what purpose? Like, I have no cards to upgrade. <laughs> Except my strikes and stuff, but... I will go for one here. This is not a terrible fight, except that my draw was terrible. Of course, incense, incense burner would go off when uh, I have nothing to cast. I got pen nib soon. They they double every time you don't kill them. Oh, I really need to draw a card. Card. I I might die now. I really needed whirlwind or cleave. Yep, this is not good for me. Um, pen nib is a thing. But not this turn. So I need to kill them for my own safety. Pen nib. To kill this one. Uh, blocking is pointless. Can I receive more block from that? That's a really huge hit. Okay, so now I have something. Reaper would have been wonderful the previous turn game. Like, it would have really, really been helpful. So, offering. So this just does insane damage. But Reaper heals me for 20, which I kind of need.
Uh, I can also Burning Pact into Double Tap, which is clearly a sensible move. So, I can Double Tap Reaper to heal for 40. Then, I can Double Tap Bash. To kind of help me survive. Or I can just go straight for the damage. Yeah, should be better. Because I because now I'm in a position just to nuke. Are oh, you kidding me? Uh, I can bring back one card from my discard pile. Which would be... Well wind. Yeah. <laughs> or Kunai as well. Every three attacks gain one dexterity. I mean, that's okay, but it doesn't super help me. I have nothing to upgrade. So I guess I want to go for this question mark. I can actually go to this shop, walk about and go to the shop as well. What? You discover a colorful shop with the banner Inspire and walk in to see what's inside. No, no, no way. Nope, you can't, can't let you in. Remember the ridiculous clothing appears at the entrance to buy you. This will not do, no, no. What is this style? Disgusting. Are you bleeding? Gross business? You're a customer? Fine, whatever. He lets out an exaggerated sign points at a list of services. The services seem fine, but you would rather punch this smug man in the his smug face. Lose 50 gold, upgrade a car, card. Lose 75 gold, remove a card. Lose 110 gold, remove a card and upgrade a random card. Lose 5 HP. Uh, clearly this one's the best value. Having two innate curses, I think is a bit too much, because it just, it takes too much of my opening hand. So this reduces my strength by one. You can now gain strength at rest sites? Fuck. I mean, it's, it, like, <laughs> like, before now, A+, plus, now, trash. <laughs> um... I don't need the heal from that shop, and I only have enough gold for one more shop, so we'll go here. Ah, uh, you're kidding me, dude. You are kidding me. So, got Whirlwind for 44 damage. Can double tap. <sighs> Sucks. Sucks big time. So I may as well just kill one of them. I have pinned him now. I just finished the coconut cream pie that I got somewhere around 11 hours ago. Oh. Thank you for the additional seven dollars eleven cents. Thank you, dude. Um. So I'm guess I'm taking this hit. I think I could have killed him. I think I miscalculated there. So cleave. Bash. This. Gambler's Brew. Um, spot weakness. Is valuable. But enough to take up a slot in my deck. My deck is so big. Yeah, because I have so much mana. So I can lift here, or... Lifting here is still probably better. One permanent strength versus... Future strength. I mean, for the boss, maybe it's not as good. So... 
I still have one walkabout true, so I want to go here and then walk to here. Lose all gold, obtain a relic. No. Because surely the gold is better spent here. Okay, panache. Uh, removing a card is good. But panache... How often am I going to be playing five cards? Some of the time? Certainly with offering and stuff. Is, does, does double tap count as more cards? Does anyone know? Nope. Ah, it sucks. Ah. Uh, So Thorns is also quite valuable. Who am I up against? That guy. Yeah. No, yeah no. I might just go Thorns and get myself regen for the heal. Yeah. And then at the rest here. Oh. Fight a boss from Act 1, obtain... A rare relic. Upgrade all cards you can no longer heal. So that would... A rare relic could be anything. But upgrading all my cards is just instant value, especially because I don't need to heal. Well, then actually, then I can't use regen potion. Reaper doesn't heal me. Ah, oh, that's really... That's... Nah, I, do, I... We'll go with the rare relic. Ah, uh, you you give me the worst hand imaginable game. Okay, we'll discard some. At Dark Viper, okay. you have to change your time zone, man. GMT plus one, perhaps. I've seen all of her YouTube clips, but can never watch you play GTA Five Live. Bible thumb. Thank you for wanting to watch me do. I, uh, I stream at fairly random times, um, these days. I do my best. I could have, uh, double tap Reaper, but it didn't really make a difference. Okay. Dead branch? Dead branch! Oh, you son of a bitch! Whenever you exhaust the card, you get a random card. It's fucking awful. I mean, Pummeler's useful. Ugh, I say it's painful. But thank you, oh, oh my god, I'm watching you for the $5. Did you make that account just to see me? Thank you, man. Let's just win this fight. So, opening with Whirlwind here is pretty decent. Kill his minions. Yeah, I guess. Um, so, this dude get, grows stronger with every power that you use. So, I'm probably just going to avoid Combust. Means one power. Whenever you play a power, he gains two strength. Two strength can be fairly significant, though. So we. I'm tempted to use the Gambler's Brew and look for Bash. Or spot weakness, or... Uh, yeah, there, there's there's definitely things I, 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 I need to draw here. Let's get rid of Combust. Ascension. I'm gonna go all out here and just take his hit, so... Yeah, just give me the other cards. So we'll play... Spot weakness. Double tap. 
bash twice, then pummel. I could have got it with Pendip too. Bet off I put Juggernaut out there, out there anyway. So we'll... Juggernaut. Oh no, wait, that makes him stronger. Fuck, I just, I just said I wouldn't make him stronger. Fuck. There's my bad. Um... Said a thing then forgot I said the thing moments ago. So heal myself here. Full heal, but he comes back to life. Does he lose the power up from my powers? No, no, no. He still has the five strength. Oh, in the second phase though, in the second phase he, uh, I can you can use powers free. Interesting. Um, because it doesn't buff him if you use a power. He's only doing one damage because of uh, incense burner. So I can just uh, go to town here. He heals 15 every turn though. I can burning pact into heavy blade. Um, I need to draw something. Busts. Yeah, he doesn't get stronger. So I'm taking this hit full in the face. Oh, double tap works for Shuriken. Cool. Okay, here we go. So now he's dead. Whoo! Yeah. Did it. 19 ascension down the drain. And that was with the strongest bosses. I didn't go for the heart this time, though. Beat, I beat the heart on uh, 18 rank ascension, though. Okay. So, this is the final level. Final level. Should have gone for the head. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Final level for Ironclad, true, I haven't done it with the others. Am I really gonna go the effort to do with the others though? I don't know. I shouldn't be playing this at all. Thanks for watching, and while I'm sure you're eager to get to the endless other videos on this channel, I'd like to take a moment of your time to wish you all the best.